Hello all, we'll start with the fifth part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So here we have finished this exterior over here. So let's continue with it. A bit of detailing part which is a bit required. So you can just activate this option over here. Let's zoom it. push it out convert to editable poly let's take a swift loop over here so go over here you can just push it up push this a bit down that's it. So you can resize it a bit, put it over here and make a copy of it. So let's make a copy. So you can just make a copy over here number of copies required delete this So you can just make the copies as it is required. Now over here, we still have something. Take a rectangle over here. Take a shape, take a rectangle, draw a rectangle, go into this modify panel, enable in viewport and make it rectangular. So you can increase it. That's it. You can resize it. can push a bit inside right click convert to editable poly take a swift loop select this ring press control and click on the polygon so you can select this or you can just select this control select this and bridge So you can easily bridge it, you can, if you want to bridge it, you can easily bridge this particular area if it is required. So if you have any kind of uh, alpha maps with you, you can assign some alpha maps. You can assign some kind of alpha maps if you have the alpha maps with you right now for the trees part so you can trees alpha trees so if you do have it you can assign it or you have a modi you have a application or you have a plugin sorry you have a plugin called forest light pack so you can use that plugin to create foliages. So as you know, the foliages will be created in the form of alpha maps, in the form of maps. So you don't have to create the model for the trees or plants. Just because the file size will become heavy. 
so for that reason we are using alpha maps so we'll see that alpha maps into the uh, next session so first let's let's uh, complete this modeling part if you don't have the forest light pack application or plugin you can also manually use the alpha maps to create the foliages so now after this step we can push this a bit up you can push this up so select this whole area push a bit this up like this after this step can just select it select the polygons you can just select this polygons over here and you can just extrude it just extrude it down so if you want to extrude it down you can just extrude it down the same thing over here also so you can just convert this into the poly select this and extrude it down over here that's it okay so same thing will work for this same same here you can just select it and push it down and that's it okay so as you can see if you want this push this over here you can resize it if you feel to resize it you can easily resize it and still you can make a staircase so you can just copy it if you want to copy this staircase over here can easily copy this so you can go into this particular side view and let's copy this like this and you can duplicate it you can just duplicate it just push it like this just make a copy of it and just delete this part so as you can see we have uh, just made a duplicate of this particular stuff so you can just save it as you can see some kind of uh, wooden kind of a stuff not we can exactly a wooden part you can see some kind of uh, hatches over here so this can be generated either you can use a texture part or you can use a model part so if you are going to do or if you are going to make this with a model then you have to put the boxes and you can do it or the other thing is like you can either you can use the texture by unwrapping it you can use the unwrapping part unwrap the particular area and you can texture it in photoshop the same thing but if you are deciding to put i'll show you a bit like you know if you are interested in putting this in this particular manner you can just put it like this resize it you can just resize it like this and you can push this up so it requires a lot of lot of uh, efforts because you need to arrange it accordingly so you know if you just go on duplicating it again and again as you can see now you have to manage it one by one so like just select all this part convert to editable poly you can use this editable poly option and you can just 
resize this area in this particular way. So it is a time taking task. So as you are going to uh, manage it in that particular way, you can take the side view over here. So make sure you are not disturbing or it should not uh, you know pop out from this particular area. So this is a way what you can achieve in one form by a modeling part or either you can achieve this by the texturing part. So as you can see if you uh, see it it looks like this and this form so the reason why uh, I would not suggest you to model this the reason is because of high poly so if you are you know the model should not be very very high poly so you can sometimes you know you have to achieve it using the texturing part so we can achieve this in the form of a texture in a much better way so as you can see over here all right so it goes down and down to reach over here okay Let's save this file. Now we can make this kind of a railing over here. You can create this railing. So railing can be easily created over here. So let's resize it. Let's resize this particular area. Let's take a box. Take a box over here take a box over here resize this box and keep it over here we can scale it more down this much is perfect so now you can use the line option over here so you can easily use a line option so you can reduce the height and width or oh sorry length and width of this particular line and you can just duplicate it so you can just duplicate this area so as many duplicates you want you can take it So we'll take a long distance where that's it. So select and delete this part. Same thing over here. Take a line over here and you can resize it. You can use this side view to match it, to match it in the center of it. You can use a front view to match the top and just make a copy of it. Click OK. Reduce. You also have an option, two ways you can do it. You can also use this option. We have if you go into this AC extended you have a railing option so railing can also help you out so this is also kind of stuff which you can utilize it with the help of a railing anyways so let's shift this over here so let's make a copy of this particular railing and push it oops 
so make a copy of this particular railing and push it over here okay so you can place a camera over here by pressing control C so control C is for placing a camera from a particular view so if you want to place a camera go into rendering render setup and let's make it to the full HD if you press shift F shift F will show you show safe frames so press control C after you take a perfect view control C and you can use the arrow to push it so you can use this option over here uh, you can go to the top view you can use a local option and push the camera a bit okay make it a free camera so control C is for placing a camera from the particular view that's it let's save it so we have still required the foliage is part that will continue in the next session thank you